Role of Conciliator in ADR Proceedings Introduction Alternative Dispute Resolution ADR, has emerged as a transformative approach to resolving conflicts outside the courtroom, offering parties a more collaborative and flexible process. Within the spectrum of ADR, conciliation plays a pivotal role in facilitating negotiations and achieving amicable resolutions. This comprehensive note explores the nuanced role of a conciliator in ADR proceedings, analyzing the skills, techniques, and ethical considerations that define their practice. Through illustrative examples, we will delve into real-world scenarios that highlight the conciliator's ability to navigate complex disputes, build consensus, and foster enduring resolutions. The conciliator's role in ADR proceedings. 1. Facilitating Communication and Negotiation A central function of the conciliator is to facilitate communication between parties and guide them through negotiations. Effective communication is often the key to resolving disputes, and the conciliator acts as a skilled mediator, helping parties articulate their concerns, needs, and interests. Through strategic questioning and active listening, the conciliator uncovers underlying issues and encourages collaborative problem-solving. Example In a commercial dispute between a supplier and a buyer, the conciliator facilitates a structured negotiation process. By carefully exploring the interests of both parties, timely deliveries for the buyer and fair payment terms for the supplier, the conciliator helps them reach a mutually beneficial agreement that preserves their ongoing business relationship. 2. Identifying common ground and interests. A skilled conciliator goes beyond simply facilitating communication. They work to identify common ground and shared interests between the disputing parties. By uncovering areas of agreement, the conciliator helps build a collaborative atmosphere that fosters cooperation rather than competition. Example In a commercial dispute over a contract breach, a conciliator might identify that both parties share an interest in maintaining a positive business relationship. By emphasizing this common ground, the conciliator can guide the parties toward a solution that preserves their commercial ties while addressing the specific issues at hand. 3. Generating options and solutions. The conciliator assists parties in brainstorming and generating a variety of options for resolution. This involves creative problem solving to find solutions that meet the needs and interests of all parties involved. Through this process, the conciliator helps expand the scope of potential outcomes and encourages parties to think beyond their initial positions. Example In a family dispute over the division of property, a conciliator might propose innovative solutions such as a property-sharing arrangement that caters to the unique needs and preferences of each family member. By encouraging flexibility and creativity, the conciliator contributes to the development of mutually beneficial options for maintaining neutrality and impartiality. Neutrality and impartiality are fundamental characteristics of an effective conciliator. Unlike an advocate or arbitrator, the conciliator does not make decisions or impose solutions. Instead, they remain unbiased, ensuring that both parties perceive the process as fair. This impartial stance enhances the credibility of the conciliator and fosters trust between the disputing parties. Example In a community dispute involving neighbors, a conciliator refrains from taking sides and focuses on understanding the concerns of both parties. This neutrality establishes a conducive environment for constructive dialogue and negotiation, promoting a sense of fairness in the resolution process. 5. Drafting settlement agreements. Once the parties have reached a consensus, the conciliator assists in drafting a formal settlement agreement. This document outlines the terms and conditions agreed upon by the parties, providing a clear roadmap for implementation. The conciliator's role extends to ensuring the document accurately reflects the negotiated terms and is legally sound. Example 
In a business contract dispute, a conciliator works with the parties to draft a settlement agreement that clearly specifies the revised terms of the contract, timelines for implementation, and any conditions for ongoing collaboration. This meticulous drafting ensures that the resolution is enforceable and minimizes the risk of future disputes. 6. Building trust and relationship. Trust is foundational to successful conciliation. Establishing relationship with disputing parties involves creating a safe and confidential space for discussions. A conciliator must employ interpersonal skills to connect with individuals from diverse backgrounds, fostering an atmosphere where parties feel comfortable sharing information and exploring collaborative solutions. Example In a family inheritance dispute, emotions may run high. The conciliator, by demonstrating empathy and understanding, builds trust with family members. This trust allows them to navigate the emotional aspects of the conflict, leading to a resolution that not only addresses legal concerns but also preserves family relationships. 7. Identifying and managing power dynamics. Power imbalances can be a significant obstacle to resolution. A conciliator must be attuned to these dynamics, ensuring that all parties have an equal opportunity to participate in the process. Techniques such as caucusing, private meetings with each party, and active balancing of power dynamics contribute to a fair and equitable resolution. Example In a workplace dispute where an employee alleges discrimination by a supervisor, the conciliator recognizes the power imbalance. Through skillful interventions, they ensure that the employee's concerns are heard, and the negotiation process addresses the power dynamics to achieve a fair outcome. 8. Creative Problem Solving Conciliators are adept at fostering creative problem solving to move beyond rigid positions and find mutually acceptable solutions. By reframing issues and encouraging parties to explore innovative alternatives, the conciliator helps break impasses and ensures that the final agreement meets the unique needs and interests of the parties involved. Example In a construction dispute where timelines have been disrupted, the conciliator encourages parties to consider alternative project schedules and phase delivery. This creative approach, rather than a fixed financial penalty, allows both parties to salvage the project and maintain a working relationship. 9. Confidentiality and Neutrality The conciliator's commitment to confidentiality is vital, ensuring that parties feel secure in disclosing sensitive information. Simultaneously, the conciliator must balance this commitment with the need to maintain neutrality. Striking the right balance is essential to building trust and credibility with the parties involved. Example In a workplace harassment case, the conciliator learns of potentially illegal activities. Balancing the duty to maintain confidentiality with legal obligations, they navigate a path that preserves the privacy of the mediation process while ensuring that necessary legal steps are taken. 10. Power imbalances and fairness Addressing power imbalances requires skillful navigation. The conciliator must actively manage situations where one party may have more influence, resources, or bargaining power. Ensuring fairness and equal participation is a delicate yet critical aspect of the conciliator's role. Example In a landlord-tenant dispute, the landlord may hold significant power due to control over housing. The conciliator takes steps to ensure the tenant feels empowered to voice concerns, creating a fair negotiation process that leads to a balanced resolution. Conclusion As we peer into the future of alternative dispute resolution, the role of the conciliator stands tall as a beacon of collaboration and resolution. In a world where conflicts are diverse and dynamic, the conciliator's ability to navigate complexities, foster communication, and drive creative solutions positions them at the forefront of dispute resolution mechanisms. The challenges and ethical considerations inherent in conciliation underscore the need for continuous professional development.
and a commitment to the highest standards of practice. As technological advancements continue to reshape how we engage in dispute resolution, conciliators must remain adaptive, harnessing the benefits of innovation while safeguarding the core principles of neutrality, fairness, and confidentiality.